This video covers highlights of the Carlson 2016 release. AutoCAD versions 2016 through 2010 are supported, as well as IntelliCAD 8.1. There are over 200 new features. For our customers on maintenance, there will be a notice by email with your 2016 serial numbers. You can also look up your serial number by going to the Carlson website and clicking on product registration or use this link shown here. Um, and for the install, there's a change with 2016 where there are now separate installs for 64-bit and 32-bit computers. And you can download the installs from the Carlson website by clicking on product downloads. For IntelliCAD 8.1, a couple of the highlights are uh, a new option for the ribbon toolbars, um, batch plotting with the publish command, and support for Windows 10. With Carlson Data Depot, we've added support for Subversion in addition to ProjectWise. Subversion is a free uh, data server that you can use for the back end. And the interface with Data Depot is still the Drawing Explorer, lets you uh, manage your project data files and share them with team members and archive and have different versions. Um, setting Server is new um, tool for CAD managers to be able to distribute files to Carlson users. Um, so any kind of file, um, such as a field of finished code table or symbol drawings um, or profile drawing settings um, you can place on a server and then Carlson users can be set up to um, automatically check for and get updates. Um, you can also um, distribute command settings, so specific settings for commands, um, and you can monitor um, the status of the Carlson versions and which patch updates uh, users have on their computers. Um, and there's a new option for um, saving command settings um, with the drawing under Carlson Configure, which uh, allows you to have separate settings uh, per drawing instead of just one uh, setting for the commands that's at the program level. For example, you can have different contour intervals um, for different drawings this way. Um, there's a new um, selection filter for uh, use at any time. There's a select objects prompt that allows you to uh, use several different properties and any combination of them. Uh, and you can, uh, in IntelliCAD, type FIL at the select objects prompt. Um, or you can run the uh, selection sets command that's underneath the um, edit pulldown. There are a couple new um, transparent commands. There's TRAVPT for creating a point at an angle and distance. And for the CL command, you can now uh, do the station relative to the currently selected segment. Now, these transparent commands um, are best accessed through the uh, toolbar here shown here. Um, or you can actually type the, these names like TRAVPT and allows you to um, use them at any prompt that prompts for a picking a point. The, there's a new command for draw table that makes um, a table in the drawing out of a uh, text file such as a comma separated file uh, with a lot of formatting options for how the table looks. Um, for Google Earth, We've added support for um, importing aerial images as well as GIS data from the KML file. And we also added support for exporting GIS data from Carlson. And there's a new command to uh, set tags to um, line work in the drawing um, that show up in Google as Google tags. 
K Carlson survey. Um, there's an option to use field to finish coding for all commands that draw points. So under point defaults, there's a new uh, use field to finish, um, and it uses the full um, drawing properties of field to finish, not just selected things like only layer or only symbol, but the full field to finish coding processing. Um, in Point Group Manager, small thing, but we added the option to create a point group using the point names of a raw file. For ServeNet, this now uh, has the option to draw the network um, points and line work. There's a new point to point table command that draws a course table with the angle and distance between two points. For triangulation volumes, there's a new option to uh, report volumes separately for multiple perimeters. For example, you could have a site with separate poly lines for different stockpiles and then select your two surfaces, all those poly lines, and report the volume separately. For slope zone analysis, there's a new option to hatch the triangles directly from the tin file, and an option to save the zone colors to the tin file, and then you can see those colors when you run the 3D viewer window. The new define median adjustments command helps with road transitions, uh, where you can easily create the uh, adjustment files by selecting a polyline in plan view for the alignment of the median. And the program will create the template point center line and template series files that you need to run with road design. And draw profile, um, there are many more label controls. And also in the settings dialog, the preview is dynamic and shows your changes to your settings right away and uh, is more a real drawing view that lets you zoom in and out and pan around and see the full detail of the drawing results. There's a new method to import a grid surface from the National Elevation data set. For uh, the sewer network and pipe model, there are new commands to edit the structure locations in the plan view and edit the structure and pipes in the profile view, as well as crossings in the profile view. And any of these edits will update the model uh, dynamically. So for example, with the profile view, you can pick on a structure and move it up and down or pick on a pipe and change the slope or the step up in the profile view and update the model. There's a new set of commands for utility networks, so things that uh, we're not calculating the flow for, such as uh, a cable line or something. The model is made up of a center line, a profile, the, the size, um, and the connections. In Carlson GIS, um, there is a new web map service images command to insert images to the drawing from WMF. <clears throat> there is a Carlson image server set up that has um, several public image servers uh, already configured. And you can use um, any WMS server. And the program lets you type in the server address. And the available services include you know, things like aerial photographs. There's also WFS, or Web Feature Services, for inserting line work with GIS data. And again, there's a default server we have set up that has many different layers, like streams and roads. And again, you can add your own server name in if you have one. When points have images attached to them, there's a new command 
that will uh, draw the image to the drawing instead of just having the inspector or editor that chose the images when you're over the point. This will new command will actually draw the images into the drawing. In Carlson Mining, um, the Surface Mine Reserves dialog has had an, an overhaul to organize all the different options uh, into different tabs. Um, and there's some new settings for calculating overall recovery after loss and dilution. And you can also have dilution and loss adjustments defined per strata. Also, the routine has been improved to run 25% uh, faster. For solid models in underground mining, uh, there's a new merge solid command. There's also a way to de design a solid by providing a center line, a profile, and a template. So along with this, there's a design tunnel template command that's new. For a range diagram, uh, there's a new method of doing spoil by reach. It also processes rehandle now. Um, and there's a flatten spoil function and options to label the areas and show the drag line limits. Uh, there are uh, lots of improvements to the Hall cycle analysis, including uh, changing the calculations to account for acceleration um, and reporting the cycles from each block and outputting the uh, path data and timing data to uh, 3D so you can do a playback in the 3D viewer window. You can also add slowdown points, um, one-way paths, and have a fleet of mixed types of trucks. For spoil placement timing, there's a new method to um, skip the fleet assignments and come directly from um, surface equipment timing. You can also do assignments based on the minimum cycle time or minimum distance. Um, in the dialog, you can choose the uh, period as day, week, or month. And there's a new option to out, uh, export to Microsoft Project. Um, we've added Gantt charts for um, all our timing routines, so underground, surface, and spoil timing. For point clouds, uh, there's been upgrades to the user interface with more toolbars and a way to dock the viewer next to the tree view. Um, there's been improvements to the clean cloud function, uh, viewer improvements to auto-center the viewer from, from the center of the, for, you know, for the pivot point. Um, there's a new register cloud function, merge cloud, resample mesh, adjust color, and um, import tip. In Carlson Takeoff, or Trench, there's an option to output the TIN file for the trench. And as part of the CADNET module, there's a new uh, rubber sheet command to fit an aerial image uh, onto multiple uh, control points. And for uh, Carlson Grade, our machine control product, um, you can now create a Carlson grade file with the surfaces and other related files, um, as well as a, a new command to take a Carlson grade project and run it in the simulator in the office. Okay, that's it. Thanks for listening. And if you have any questions, you can email Carlson support or give us a call. Thank you.